Peace everyone, I'm Mascard here, and today I'm going to be doing a review and demo of Brush and Pencils Textured Fixative. Alright everyone, so getting right into this demonstration, what you see here are two burnished black circles. Now if you're unfamiliar what burnishing is, it is a colored pencil technique where you build up multiple layers of the pencil and you get a nice, smooth, waxy, clean surface. This is a really good look for a finished piece. However, it's one of the things that limits some of the capabilities with colored pencils. Sometimes when you're building up layers, you almost run out of space with your layers and you can no longer work on top of the pencil because it won't take any more color. So what I've done here is I've burnished two black circles because building up any other details on top of these black circles would be next to impossible once they're burnished. So what I've done is I've sprayed the textured fixative on the left circle and I left the right circle completely burnished and unsprayed by the textured fixative. You can see that the left circle has some white specks and kind of a fuzzy look to it and I would say that that's one of the drawbacks that you get from using this textured fixative. However, when you use this fixative, the whole purpose is to put another layer of colored pencil on and once you do that you no longer see this fuzzy white specks. Alright now that I have those details out of the way you can see that the colored pencils are going on quite well. There's great saturation in the color but also there's a lot of sharpness on my edges which is really important. I used a couple blending techniques. I used both my paint thinner. I also used the luminance colorless blender. However what I saw it doing was actually lifting the color back off, but using the paint thinner worked perfectly fine. Now I'm starting on the other circle, the circle that is not sprayed with the textured fixative, and you can already see that I've lost a ton of contrast in my brights. I'm really pushing hard on my white pencil and it's just not laying down. And this is exactly what I expected on this circle given that it's unsprayed and it's already burnished black. I wasn't expecting to get the nice bright sharp highlights that I've gotten on the other one. So I wasn't surprised at all of the outcome. Here is a close up of what they look like. The one on the left you can see that the edges are nice and sharp. There's plenty of detail that you're able to capture. And then when you have a look at the one on the right, you can see that it's quite muddy. There's really no sharpness to any of the highlights. It's kind of blurry and the contrast is really, really low in this one. The other thing that you're missing is saturation. You can see that the blues have become more of a grayish blue and there's not a lot of saturation there. Now that you've seen how this textured fixative allows you to bring out the detail and highlights of a heavily burnished black circle, I'm going to spray this piece one more time to fix the other one. So now that I've taken the time to spray the right circle this time, even though I've not only burnished it, but I've really, really burnished it after going over it with the other colors, you can see that immediately the highlights pop out, the color saturation in the blues really show up, and overall it just looks way more dynamic and highly contrast. The details really start to come out, and the white lines of the highlights are nice and sharp, which is exactly what you're looking for. Alright, so here's a final look at the two marbles. As you can see, they look pretty much identical. After spraying the right one, I was able to boost the highlights, sharpen, and create more contrast and saturation which is exactly what you want to be able to do when layering your colored pencils. Anyways, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you'd like to buy this product, I will have the link to both the US and European store in the description below. And if you'd like to help support my channel, go over here and check out my Patreon page. You click here to subscribe or click one of these two videos. So I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.